everyone. Thanks for joining us here today at Cakes, Cooking, and More. I'm Marie Lockwood. This is a nice one skillet meal today. We all love one skillet meals, especially moms. Why? Because we hate doing dishes. So, one skillet meal. It is a creamy Cajun pasta with andouille sausage, and it is to die for. So I hope that you like it as much as my family does. So let's see okay. what we need. So I know it looks like a lot of ingredients, guys, but this is such an easy meal. It really is. So we have a little bit of pasta. I bought the panini, but you can buy whichever kind you want. We have some chicken bouillon cubes, three cups of water, rotel, uh, thyme, uh, some oregano, some paprika, garlic, salt and pepper, parmesan, chopped green onion, some bell pepper in slices, mozzarella, cream cheese, I think that's everything. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so on this one, we're going to add our oil, our sausage, and our bell pepper. We're going to cook this for about three to four minutes. It's going to have a nice light brown to it, and then we'll be back. All right, now that we have a nice light browning here, don't want too much. We're not trying to burn it. We just want a nice light brown. Okay, what we're going to do is we have a plate here. I'm just going to take that over and put it on the plate for a few minutes. your pan have a little bit of juice from the sausage and the bell pepper. And that little bit of juice you just want to go ahead and pour that out in the sink. All right now we're just going to put that back. We're going to add the last of our oil. We're going to add our green onion. And we're going to add our garlic. And we're only going to cook this for about a minute. And really, we just want to give it a nice little mix. Kind of get the onions and the garlic going a little bit. Like I said, you only need to cook it about a minute. All right, now we are going to add our paprika. oregano, and your little bit of salt and pepper. Just mix that up. Don't need more than a minute. Just want to get that nice and mixed. Okay, now once you've got that well mixed, we're going to add our little bit of tomato. You can do diced tomato or you can do rotel. I do the rotel because it has a little more flavor to it. So it's just a little bit nicer. Helps give the whole pasta a little more flavor, a little more pizzazz, whatever you want to call it. All right, you can see that's mixed pretty well. Okay, now we're going to take our pasta and pour that in. We're going to take our water and add that. And then we're going to give this a little stir, making sure that our pasta is kind of well covered and our seasoning is all over because you want all of that pasta to soak up all that flavor. All right, now we're going to take our bouillon cubes and add those. Now, in this case, you can use chicken broth, three cups. Um, I use this just because chicken broth, for whatever reason, is forever sold out at my grocery store. Every time I go, it is completely empty on that shelf. 
So I keep these in the house as a just in case for whenever I start to run out, which is pretty much constantly because like I said, they're always sold out. So it's almost impossible for me to get it. But you can use that instead. And these are just for a little extra flavoring. All right, so once we have all of that in, scrape all our seasoning down back in there. We're going to put our lid on. We're just going to let this come to a boil. And then after it boils, I want you to let it sit at low, just kind of a simmer, for about eight to 10 minutes until that pasta noodle is completely done. And as soon as that is, we'll be back. Okay, now that our 10 minutes is up, I'm just gonna take our lid off there. You can see there's still quite a bit of juice and you need that, so don't drain it. Give that a good little stir. All right, now add your sausage and your bell pepper back in there. Give that a good stir. Get everything mixed in well. Okay. Now, we're just going to sprinkle on our Parmesan. Try to get it all over. I'm going to take our mozzarella. Just kind of sprinkle that on top. And then you're going to take your cream cheese. Put that in there. Okay, now you're just going to mix again. And that water is going to mix with the cheese. And we're going to have a nice creamy sauce to go with it. got that mixed in pretty well. Doesn't have to be perfect because this is going to have to sit for a little while to thicken. You just want to make sure you get it pretty well mixed in there. Okay, we're going to leave this on low for around three to five minutes just to let that sauce thicken up and then we'll be back. Now you can see we're done. It's a nice thick pasta. It's very creamy. It's just about exactly what you want. As you can see, it thickens up quite a bit. There's not a whole lot of liquid left. And it's just wonderful pasta. And it's very nice. I only have one dish to clean. Well, okay, I have like 20 bowls, but you only have one dish to clean. Still a little bit hot, but excellent. You do want to serve this warm, and then you want to make sure you refrigerate any leftovers. We don't usually have leftovers on this one, but you might have a little bit. So thanks for joining me today at Cakes Cooking and More. I'm Marie Lockwood. Have a great day.